Hello everyone, it's Ragewood, and in today's video, we'll be taking a closer look at the Kodak Mini 2 Retro P210R. So I've been using the Kodak Mini 2 Retro for a few weeks now, and I have to say, I've come to really like it. As one of the most affordable compact Bluetooth mobile printers available, the Mini 2 Retro is great value for money. And in this video, we're going to see if it lifts up to the hype. But before we jump into it, if you're new here, please do hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell as it would greatly help the channel. The Kodak Mini 2 Retro lets you turn your photos on your smartphone or like me, turn photos from your mirrorless camera into really color accurate prints. And unlike the Instax Mini printer from Fujifilm that prints on the old style Polaroid type film, Kodak chose to go with a four pass dye sublimation method, which essentially means it prints in four steps in a few seconds and you don't have to wait for your images to develop after print, saving you a bit of time and quite a lot of money on film as replacing cartridges are much cheaper. You can get this printer in white, black or the classic Kodak yellow and it weighs around 250 grams so it's very lightweight and compact making it very easy to carry around. The retro in the name in case you're wondering comes from the design but unless you go for the classic Kodak yellow nothing about this printer really feels retro to me. In fact the white version I've got here looks like a basic rectangular box with rounded corners. The print quality though on the other hand is one of the best I've seen. The colors come out vibrant and accurate and doesn't have any weird artifacts or color shifts with the caveat of if the image you're printing is high resolution. I found low resolution images to be quite blocky and not so great but still quite color accurate. The images from my Canon R6 Mark II after I've edited them looks great and very close to my edit. I found it's a great way for me, especially as a street photographer, to give people some value after I've taken pictures of them on the streets. The sheet size is just about 2 inches or like a credit card so it fits in your wallet really well. And Kodak also has a square 3 inch version if you prefer larger prints. The Mini 2 Retro uses Bluetooth to sync with your smartphone or tablet using the Kodak Photo Printer app. The app is a bit weird looking at first but once you get used to it, I found it's very easy to use and offers somewhat good customization options allowing you to add filters, frames or white border and even make collages before printing. The print time is about 70 seconds which is honestly quite long for an instant printer but if you think about it it's doing it in four steps and doesn't need time to develop after printing so you won't be waiting around forever for prints which I think it's a plus. So coming back to the app I found the Bluetooth logo in the center quite useful as it turns red when it's not connected and yellow when connected and ready so you can tell when your printer is ready to print. The setup process is a breeze and once connected you can select any photo from your device and start printing immediately. And yes, this printer allows you to select multiple photos and print them at once. As I said before, the Mini 2 Retro uses a 4 pass dye sublimation technology where it prints out the yellow, magenta and cyan layers and then puts a protective coat over the top, making your print come out vibrant and smudge proof in a few seconds. And Coda claims the photos last over 100 years but I don't know how they tested that. In terms of battery life, I think the Mini 2 Retro is just okay. It's got a rechargeable battery that lasts about 20 sheets according to Kodak and charges fully in about an hour and a half. In my testing however, the battery went from 100% to 85% just after one print so I'd advise you carry a power bank along if you're going to be doing loads of prints. The biggest downside I've found about the Mini 2 Retro though is the fact that the charging port is the unreliable micro USB. The port of my printer I have yet is still good and firm but I can't guarantee how long that lasts. So is the Kodak Mini 2 Retro worth it for you? I'd say yes if you're a fan of that classic instant camera vibe and you're in the market for a portable printer that delivers on both ease of use and color accurate prints. It seamlessly combines portability with a very easy to use app giving you a convenient way to preserve your memories. And I think it would be great for parties, family get togethers or just printing cute photos of your friends. Well there you have it, my review of the Kodak Mini 2 Retro. I hope you liked it. Are you thinking of picking one up for yourself? Let me know down in the comments. And what's your favorite portable photo printer? And if you did enjoy this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more videos like this. Thank you for watching and until next time, cheers.